hello good day viewers you are welcome if you are watching my video for the first time consider subscribing today hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload a new content in today's tutorial we are going to be solving this exponential equation so therefore this is not going to be uh, easy as usual because here we are having x to be the exponent and we also have it to be the base in this form so therefore what we're going to do is that we are going to use uh, a function called a uh, lambert w function so to get this but by inspection we can see that here if we replace x by 3 so we can see that the uh, value x equals 3 is going to satisfy this equation by 3 to power 3 we have 27 plus 3 we can see we are going to have 30 so but in this tutorial we are going to be looking at how we can solve that you know 3 out algebraically okay so i want you to stay focused and see okay so we have the lambert uh, w function in this form so this is lambert w function uh, w we are can see we have a e to power a equals a so whenever you have this uh, w when you see this function uh, and is operating on this you know we have a e a so you can see that a is multiplying e and is raised to power a again so it will definitely give us so this is what i'm saying let's say you have w you know x e x so this will actually give us what x so that's what we are saying and that is lambert w function that is what you know e dot it does so now from there we are going to start by solving the equation given to us we have 3 to power x okay plus 3 equals 30 so now permit me to rewrite this equation in this form i'm going to be writing this equation like uh, 3x equals okay then 30 minus what 30 minus or oh, this is x this is x i'm sorry for that this is x okay then i have 3x equals 30 minus x so now from there we can divide through by x i divide through by x here so now from there we're going to see that this cancel is we're going to have one then equals then we have 30 minus x then divided by what 3 to power x so now from there so the next thing we are going to do here is that uh, we're going to apply something here so this equation can be written as 1 equals uh, 30 minus x then put it inside the parentheses then multiply by 3 to power this will be minus what minus X. so that is from the law of indices right so the law of indices that says when you have e to power minus a this will give you one over e to power x okay so that is what we apply there so now from there we continue so we're going to have one equals so but here you can see i want to have uh, I have 30 minus x here, so I want the same thing here to be the you know power of 3 because all her intention is to see how we can write our equation in form of where in form of this uh, Lambert you know function we have up here. So that is our intention. So we move further. So now I want to see that uh, 30 is here, 30 minus x here. So what can I do? I'm going to multiply, you know, both sides of the equation by 3 to power 30. Okay. So if I do that, you can see that this will be 30 minus x, then dot 3 minus x multiplied by 3 to power 30. Do you understand also from there? You can see that I'm going to be having what? I'm going to be having this to be... 3 to power 30 then equals 30 minus x then i have this to be 3 30 minus x from the law of indices so now from there so i can rewrite this equation 
as this going further you can see what i did here is that i just interchange the position so take this one to the left hand side and this to the right hand side so i have 30 minus x dot 3 30 minus x equals so i want to write this one in this form in this format so this is going to be 3 to power 3 okay multiplied by 3 to power 27 so you can see that from the law of it this is 3 plus 27 will give us this so now that is that so now uh the next thing i'm going to do here is that uh, don't forget that uh, from this e that is a e to power a we give us we give us a so that is from lambert function so now here we can see that uh, we actually need something like e here okay so therefore we're going to improvise and put the e there but don't forget that uh, we have something like if you have e ln of a so do you switch this will actually give us a because this e and ln they are inverse to each other okay so it will actually give us a so therefore if we introduce e to this uh equation so it means it doesn't change anything okay so now what we are going to do now here is that i'm going to be having 30 okay minus x then here i'm going to introduce the e lean okay e lean then i have 3 to power 30 minus x okay then equals here also i can have 3 to power 3 okay then multiply by e ln 3 to power 27 so now from there we can see that so going further so we have this so we can write this as 30 minus x then here this is like a power okay so we can write it as e we take this power that is 30 minus x here 30 minus x okay then we have lin 3 then equals this 3 to power 3 is 27 okay e i can take this 27 here to this place we have 27 ln not ln 3 so now from here so we can see that this is making sense okay and we are getting there we are getting there but when you look at this place now we have the coefficient of e to be 30 minus x here but here look at the power there is introduction of lin 3 here there is introduction of lin 3 here also so that's the problem here so definitely we need lin 3 here also so that it will be the same as what we have at the power here okay so what we are going to do is that we introduce or multiply ln3 you know to the uh, both sides so we are going to be having 30 minus x ln3 that is multiplying ln3 then we have e to power 30 minus x then ln3 equals the same thing here because whatever you do to the uh, one side of the equation you must definitely do it to the other equation uh, so size i mean size okay so this is going to be 27 ln 3 then e 27 ln 3 so now from here you can see that we have something beautiful so when you look at the left hand side okay you can see that we can relate it to this so therefore we are now going to plug in this function and write all of this out so now we plug in this uh, lambert function on this so now having this let's relate it to what we have here so you're going to see that everything here is empty as what we have here so therefore it means we have what we have 30 minus x ln 3 here at the left hand side equals here 27 look at this we have 27 ln 3 we have 27 ln 3 here so when you try to look at this lambert function so we're going to have 
27 ln 3 okay so now i believe you can see that we are getting to the uh to our destination so now from here so now when you look at this equation now you can see that ln 3 is a ln 3 is a so when you divide through by ln 3 ln of 3 this we cancel this this we cancel this we have 30 minus x equals 27 so now making x the subject formula you can see that x equals what x equals 3 and that is solution to the problem okay so now if you like the question so kindly you know the solving kindly share this to your colleagues so they can also benefit from it so now whenever again so let me show you the workings from the beginning okay so that you can get it better right so we have this we have this we have this okay we have this we have this all right so whenever you are giving this type of uh, equation then you have the base to be uh the equation i mean the variable you are looking for and you have it to be power two so it's better you use lambda w function so thank you so much for watching kindly share this to your colleagues so they can also benefit from it bye, -bye.